Do I really have to fart to get this guy to move out the way? Oh, it's too much for Pierre. I must invoke my sacred birthright and surrender at once. Oh! Shots fire in the French. I'll see you later, Pierre. I'm sorry for the fart. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Spiral Scouts. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. This right here is brought to us by the team behind Honey Pop, oddly enough. Now, this is not lewd like Honey Pop is. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's gonna have the signature Honey Pop raunchy humor involved. It's not like a, you know, visual novel. This is more like a straight up art, like not RPG really, but more of an adventure game. Puzzle elements, it's got like a weird Paper Mario type of look. And from what I read, the humor is also very tongue-in-cheek and very raunchy overall, and you know, I'm perfectly fine with that, so... Let's get into the game over here and get the ball rolling. Now, I should note, if you um, enjoy this want to see a little bit more, let me know in the comments, I'm leaving a thumbs up, and we can definitely do that. Otherwise, all the information for this game will be in the description down below. It's available, I'm playing the Steam version, but I'm pretty sure, I think it's available for... PS4 and Xbox, if I'm correct? I'm not sure about Switch. But I have all the information down below, because you want to look into that yourself. So here is going to be our character, and as I mentioned, it's got that like, little Paper Mario type of look to it, which I love. Very cartoony, but let's see here. Okay, so as I mentioned, it's going to be like an adventure, puzzly type of game, so what do we have here to start off with? The doors won't budge. Okay, so we got to figure out a way to open up this door. Something tells me that you, who happen to be glimmering, are somehow involved with this. And over here we have a six, we have a two, we got a five, we got a three. Roman numeral, so one, two, three, four, five, okay. Six, two, five, three. So if we're going by this alone, the first, let's say the first number is a six, obviously, right? So, um, you. This symbol right here should be a six, maybe? So what if we... Open sesame. Alright, we got the first one done. You know, I feel really proud of myself here. Let me pat myself in the back. Good job, Falcon. You got a tutorial puzzle out of the way. Aren't you proud of yourself now? So let's enter. I don't know the backstory to this game, to be honest with you, too. I didn't read into that. I just read into the fact that it's from the Honey Pop developers, and it's just supposed to be really, like, tongue-in-cheek raunchy. But the art style is amazing. I'm liking this a lot. And for some reason... Knowing who the developer is, I have a feeling that those fruits and those trees happen to look like an ass, just because... Honey Pop. Got purple asses, we got green asses as well. Okay, we got meh. What the crap? What do you mean you can't let me through? Sorry, buddy. Orders from the king. He's making us practice standing guard until we get it right. Because somebody keeps abandoning at his post. Not naming any names. Freaking Pierre. That Pierre over there? Oh, he's French. Of course he is. Pierre, Wee oui, Wee, oui. Stephen God. <laughs> okay. Wee oui, Wee, oui. worry not, mon ami. Pierre will not be foiled again. Of these, I am most certain. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Is that a good French laugh? I don't think that was a good one. I'll try to work on it. Look, I gotta get to the headquarters and I ain't got all day, so do me a favor and get the hell out of my way. No can do, my dude. But you're more than welcome to chill out and wait until we're done with our guard practice. Ah, you guys are crap. Crap, I tell ya. Crap. So, if he can't get through, I imagine that the same applies for us here. Now, what's up with you here? Well, scouting tips number one. Pressing the space bar key will open up your inventory. With your inventory open, you can use certain items you collected with the Q key. Gotcha. It's, it is a butt. The sweet butt nut tree. <laughs> the sweet butt nut tree. Yep. It's all, it's all making sense now to me, huh? Sweet butt nut. Yeah, yeah. You see a sweet butt in baby, let me tell you, you gotta bust a nut every cow and down. Yo! Okay, let's collect these sweet guys here, and let's probably pick up a couple of these green ones, too. So that's sweet, you're gonna be what? Sour, of course you would be. Plus you're green, that makes sense, you know, you got your green sour apples. And you guys keep growing, so you know what, I'm gonna take more than... 
as many as I can, I guess. I mean, we'll do six and six for now. And what's your deal? Uh, you can give somebody items by approaching them and pressing the W key. But only if they're open to accepting strange objects from the strange people. Yeah, like a sweet butt nut, huh? Although, to be honest with you, somebody offer me a sweet butt nut, I'd be okay with that. I'd be like, you know what? That's actually a very courteous gesture on your part. Thanks a lot for that sweet butt nut. Um, I posted four signs, but I could only think of three tips. But it's a really nice looking sign, so I'm just gonna leave it here. Okay, thanks a lot. Now, I would just like to get through, that's a possibility. No, figured as much. I'd love to let you through, but we're practicing standing guard at the moment. Rules is rules. So you're seeing like a very big stickler on rules, but your friend Pierre... Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho. Might maybe let me through? No? No. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Excuse-moi, mademoiselle, but I am afraid I cannot let you pass. Nobody sneaks past Pierre. Not anymore. Pierre can smell the trouble coming from a mile away. Smell the trouble and smell is on purple. So... Do I give you... Eat this to instantly waff out a sweet, delicious toot. Eat this to instantly rip out a putrid, butt nasty fart. <laughs> Do I really have to fart to get this guy to move out the way? Well, I guess you gotta go with the bad smelling one, right? That'll get anybody out the way. Oh, repugnant! That is the most heinous foul stench imaginable. None. I must in abundance this post. Not again. Oh, it's too much for Pierre. I must invoke my sacred birthright and surrender at once. Oh! Shots fire in the French. I'll see you later, Pierre. I'm sorry for the fart. Huh? <laughs> Now's my chance. Yo, you don't get to benefit from my, my puzzle solving here, buddy. Well, we got through that one too. It's fairly good, I'm liking it thus far. The puzzles seem very intuitive. And of course, I'm down with the raunchy humor. Crap. That's right, I'm fat. Hey, you! Me? Yeah, you! I'm the only other person around here. Come here for a minute, will ya? Why? 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 Just get your ass over here, that's why. Okay, okay, fine. Jeez, chill out. What's that thing back there too, by the way? It's moving, whatever that is. Listen, I just ran like 20 miles at least. I can't go on anymore. I can barely feel my legs. You gotta get me something delicious to drink so I can get my energy back. Uh, you look like you've had your share of delicious things already. <laughs> The hell? Look here, you little twerp. Ever here respecting your elders? Just get me the drink before I teach you some manners. All right, all right. Call your jets, man. I'll keep an eye out for something to drink. All right, so we got a little bit of a quest with you, huh, buddy? Um, all right, but... <laughs> oh, I think we found it. Butt juice. Of course. Well, you got the sweet butt fruits, and now you got the butt juice. Well, before we go over there, I'm just going to do my little exploration over here. Not much. Let's talk to our boy over here. Get, um, our chunky friend something to drink. Big boy is your name, huh? Ah, a new customer. Welcome to Big Boy's Butt Juice, home of the world's smelliest butt juice, which is a good thing. Mm, now when you put it that way, it's not. I'm Big Boy, the owner of this fine establishment. You don't look very big to me. Oh, trust me, I'm big where it counts. Ha <laughs> ha! I-O, it's a penis joke. Oh, it's not a penis joke. Big in my desire to serve happy customers. It, it's probably better big boy when it's a penis joke, right? I'm just throwing it out there for you. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, how much for a glass of your finest butt juice? <laughs> your money's so good here. That's not quite how it works here at Big Boys. It's free of charge. I just really enjoy seeing people drink my delicious butt juice. It always puts a smile on my face. All you have to do is bring me the ingredients I'll mix them up for you in my top secret mixing lab. For one glass of our world-famous butt juice, you'll need one butt nut of either flavor and two sugars. That's it. So feel free to stop by any time if you got the ingredients and you're feeling thirsty. Some world-renowned butt juice. <laughs> well, apparently we have one sugar. We need two, and we already have the fruit, so that's partially done. We have an outhouse, too. 
Uh, excuse me, ma'am. That's our top secret mixing lab. Employees all. Dude. Dude. Dude, come on. Your top mixing lab's an outhouse? And you're selling butt shoes? Okay, I don't even want to know. I don't want to know where the water or the liquid portion of that drink comes into play. Don't even want to know. Shovel? Hey, we got a shovel. Uh. Let me guess, is your shovel? I just want the shovel, dude. <laughs> this is, um, Tad. Beg your pardon, little miss, but I couldn't help but notice you went and took the, that there shovel. <laughs> See, that particular shovel belongs to yours truly. It ain't too polite to go around taking other fellas' things when he ain't round. Oh, that was yours? My bad, here you... Actually, miss, perhaps you and me can come to some kind of agreement that butt us both our biscuits. You see, my boyfriend Gil done told me that he saw a dirt guppy a splashing, splashing around these pots, but I can't seem to find a little bugger. If you can wrangle him up with that there shovel and bring him back here, I might just let you keep it, you hear? Perhaps you'll have better luck than old Tad. You look like the kind of gal who knows a thing or two about dirt fishing. I do, but can you remind me what it is and how to do it? Haha! <laughs> if you need a reminder, that sign right there goes over the basics. I wrote it myself in case I forgot. Uh, what exactly does this dirt guppy look like? Uh, I ain't too sure about that one, to be honest with you, ma'am. I ain't never been caught one before. The only thing I ever done heard about dirt guppies is that they like to sleep under real big rocks. Whatever that means. Alright. So instead of fishing, we gotta catch the, the thing on land. That makes sense. Alright, let's see how this works here. Dirt Fishing Guide by Tad. If you got yourself a shovel, you can equip it from the old inventory. Once you're done, got that equipped, you can go dig in. <laughs> like I'm reading the instructions in his little southern voice now, too. It's written that way, there's a problem. There's an E-key. But you're, <laughs> you're gonna have a real time here digging if something's in your way. Like a rock or a tree or something. So we gotta equip this thing here first, huh? Shovel equip. Good. User with E, is that right? E it is. So no guppy here, he's set to look under a big rock. Now, well, we're... Yeah, see, that's a really big rock right here. There's another knight over there, too. I imagine that's probably it. That's kind of big over there, too. But let's try this one out. This one seems fairly big as well. Giggity, giggity. Oh, we got a fish. Dirt guppy, hey! Yo, my friend, I got you hooked up already. Oh, no, 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 I gotta, I gotta hand that over. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got it. My bad, my bad. Um, W key is to give. Give the old guppy. And confirm. <laughs> well, would you look at that? You caught him. That's some damn fine dirt fishing right there. You a natural born already, fishy lady. You could have done it better myself. Now, if y'all kindly hand that shovel back to, over to old Uncle Tad. Oh, weak. You really gonna do me like that? <laughs> I'm just jacking your chain. Go on and keep that one. But take good care of it, you hear? That's the last digging shovel I got. Uh, what about the one that you're holding right now? Oh, you mean old Tessa here? Nah, she ain't for digging. Tessa's my beating shovel. For when fools step out of line and need to be put back into place. Speaking of which, I'm going back in the show this here dirt guppy to my boyfriend Gil. Feel free to stop by in and say hello. So Gil's gonna be really happy about that dirt guppy, huh? Alrighty, well, let's go in there and see if, um, what my boy Gil is all about, apparently. <laughs> well, now, if it ain't that dirt fishing champ herself, welcome to the fishing hut. Hey, Gil, come over here, me on you, friend. <laughs> That's Gil? I'm on you, miss. Gil, you get that tiny little ass over here. <laughs> this little lady a proper introduction. <laughs> You're making Tessa angry. Don't don't beat Gil with the the, the beating shovel, Tad. Uh, sorry, Tad. My God, Gil, you're a big dude. Why is he bossing you around? Pleasure to meet you, acquaintance, Miss. Ah, <laughs> Gil's a little shy. He's a bottom. You know how these bottoms are. Tell you. <laughs> He's the bottom. Who oh, boy? Oh, uh, Tad, that's a private business. <laughs> I do apologize for the mess, miss. I didn't have too much time to tidy up. Pay no mind to that, darling. Feel free to have a look around. You're welcome to have anything upon you happen upon. Your home is your, or our home is your home. Alrighty. Well, let's see what do we want. Oh, sugar. Sweet. 
I will take that. Anything else over here? Can I cook, maybe? No cooking? Anything else over here that stands out? I mean, there's a bunch of booze, which I would not mind, but don't eat the booze. What about you over here? Let's talk to Tad. Alright. Well, we got the, the sugar, and we have the... The fruits. Now, the problem is, which type of fruit do you want to give homeboy? Do we want the sour one or the sweet one? I mean, for all intent and purpose, I guess we'll go with the sweet one. So, big boy, let's give. And I'll do sugar. Along with, um... Should we do sour? Let's do sour. Why not? Ah, oh, perfect. This is everything I need. One freshly squeezed butt juice coming right up. No, don't go. See, that just makes it very disturbing when you're saying it's freshly squeezed butt juice and you're going into the outhouse. And I can hear you rummaging through the freaking... Oh. Oh. I'm not sure if those were like... Noises that were coming out of his body or if he was just kind of like digging through the toilet in there or something. And there you go. Enjoy. Please come again. You received the sour butt juice from Big Boy. Yeah, yeah, that's quite literally what we just got right now. All right, buddy. <laughs> it's the best thing I could do for you. Let's give you this um sour butt juice. Oh, sweet heavens, butt juice, come to daddy. Oh uh, yeah, that's the good stuff. I feel like a new man. Do I get a reward for that? A reward? Your reward is knowing that you help somebody in need for your good foot nut. Wait. Bandana, yellow bag, brown boots. You must be a new Spiral Scouts recruit. Why'd you say so? Spiral Scouts? Yeah, the Spiral Scouts. Oh, okay. Thanks for clearing that up. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen a new recruit around here. Scoutmaster Wells go to flip. You need to complete your initiation trial to become a true scout, though. The headquarters is up ahead. It's a bit north of here, so let's get a move on. And hurry up about it, we ain't got all day. Sure, I'll join the scouts. So, I mean, f what I'm understanding thus far is that we don't know much about her character, and thus far she hasn't really divulged much. So we got that open pad, and we also have that knight over there. Something tells me that guy's gonna let me through, so I might as well just check out through here. Aha. Uh -huh. More knights. There it is, the headquarters. About time. Hold on a second, I'll get Scoutmaster Welt. Hey, Welt! Get out of here, we got a new recruit! And also free boost. Huh? What? Somebody out here saying something about free boost? No, Alki. I said we got a new recruit. A new recruit? Well, slap me stupid and pal- <laughs> But? <laughs> I mean... If you really want to. We haven't had a new recruit in, like, forever. Wow, that's a great catchphrase. I know, right? I wasn't sure at first, but I think I really, it really suits me. Mind if I use it too? Yes, don't. Aw. Yeah, it's kind of weird when it's coming from a little girl. At least she's still growing up, it's fine. And she wants to get her butt pounded. What's your name, recruit? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't really remember, remember anything, to be honest. I just came out of this crazy portal and... Whoa, whoa! Slow down, I didn't ask for your life story. Look, we can all come to portals all the time, it's not a big deal. But since you don't have a name, we'll call you Reme. Reme? Cool name, right? I said I was planning to name my first daughter. Why didn't you? Oh, I'm infertile. Yep, I've always wanted a daughter, but I guess God doesn't want me to be happy. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> it's fine, I'm fine. Besides, after a couple of drinks, the no-no thoughts go away completely. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, that's a really core issue with alcoholism right there. You gotta drink it all away. I'm not speaking from experience, mind you. Uh, you brats gonna gossip all day, or can we di get on with it? All right, the initiation trial. Rame, are you good with puzzles? I mean, I've solved a few thus, thus far. Uh, yeah, I think I might know my way around a puzzle or two. Great! You see, as a spiral scout, it'll be your sworn duty to help people in need wherever you find them. That usually tends to involve getting to the bottom of some kind of puzzle. We need to be sure that you have what it takes in order to join the spiral scouts. You need to be, like, 
pretty good, you know? So before you can become an, an official scout, you need to complete an initiation trial and meet with the founders at the Spiral Scouts themselves. Thinking you're up for it? Uh, only one way to find out. And that's the Spiral Spirit! Wait here a moment, I'll activate the trial for you. Oh god, don't tell me I gotta remember this myself. Um, left for left, but okay. Hopefully I don't. Okay, step on the warpath to begin your trial. Good luck. And get on with it! The warpath doesn't have all day. You know what, man? You need to relax, okay, buddy? You don't pressure me. Well, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. This is Spiral Scouts. As I mentioned, if you want to see a bit more of this, let me know in the comments. Let me leave a thumbs up on the video if you can do so. Otherwise, all the information will be down below. I'll catch you guys next time.